So open staking is now live on the Harmony mainnet, and I thought it'd be a really good idea just to go through the delegated dashboard and actually just pick up on a few key things. So how do we delegate to a validator? How do we claim rewards? And how do we undelegate? Now, before you get started, there are a few key things you're going to need. You're going to need some one tokens. You're going to need a wallet that can interact with the dashboard. It could be Math Wallet, it could be Ledger. There are a few different ones supported. And you're going to need to make sure you have the latest version of the Harmony Chrome extension. And you can find that in the Chrome Web Store here. It's easy enough. We are on version 0.0.14. So once you have that extension downloaded, make sure you uh, connect to your wallet using your private key or your mnemonic seed phrase and then get it all set up. So let's say that we want to delegate to a specific validator. How do we do that? Well, it's super simple. We click on validators, look for a validator that we like. Uh, in this instance, I'm gonna click on Sesame Seed. Then we can see the different metrics associated with them, how many slots they have, um, their average uptime, expected return, and you could find out why all those are important in another video that we've made. But for now, let's just click on Delegate. And we're gonna say, okay, a thousand one tokens, which is the minimum to stake uh, with Sesame Seed. So we click on Next. And then it says, please send the transaction to be signed in the Harmony browser extension. We confirm and sign now to put in a password to sign that transaction. Then click on Approve and that will be sent to the blockchain. Now basically what's happening now is that your tokens are not actually being sent away from you. They're still under your control. They're just being sent to a smart contract which tells the network that your tokens are being staked with Sesame Seed. They're still under your control. They haven't gone anywhere. They're just sitting in a smart contract which defines what they're actually doing. So it says successful delegation, you've successfully delegated your ones. And it will tell me the transaction as well. So we can look at that transaction on the Explorer. Show more. And there you can see the amount, the delegator address and the validator address. So my tokens and Sesame Seed are now bound together. Fantastic. So if we go back to the dashboard now and look in a portfolio, it will now tell me that I have a little piece delegated to Sesame Seed. Now, if you look further down, I have some pending undelegations to these two particular validators. And I did this specifically for this tutorial just to show what it looks like when you are in fact undelegating. So I undelegated from these two and what the dashboard tells me now is that my stake will be returned in seven epochs. And what's an epoch? Well, an epoch is basically a de determined amount of blocks that the uh, beacon chain, which is shard zero, will sign in a given period. And in our case, it's 16,384 blocks. So that's what shard zero will do. 16,384 blocks, that's an epoch. And it's around about a day and a half, give or take. So seven epochs works out to around 10 and a half days. And if that sounds like a long time, well, it's kind of supposed to because you should be really thinking about who you stake to with a view to holding for a certain amount of time and not just jumping out, jumping out, jumping out when things don't go the way you want. So undelegating is actually quite uh, difficult to manage because you won't get your tokens back for another 10 and a half days. So don't expect to undelegate and immediately be able to redelegate because that's not how it works. So I undelegated from these two particular validators and my tokens will be returned in seven epochs. It tells me the next epochs in 156 minutes. So the tokens I have staked here won't be mine for another 10 days. They are still mine, but I won't be able to re-delegate them. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Now, there are some exceptions to this rule. Let's say you uh, delegate with a validator who hasn't previously been elected which at this early stage of the network is quite possible, then your stake will be returned to you within one epoch. So you can get it back quite quickly. And that happened to me when the, the network first launched. I staked to someone, they weren't elected, and I managed to get my stake back pretty quickly. Now, because these two validators have been elected, I have to wait, and that's fine. So what happens once you do have some rewards and you want to do something with them? Well, it's super simple. We have a claim rewards button, it's here. We click on claim rewards, we say how much we want to actually claim, click on next, and then once again we send that transaction to the Harmony 
browser extension, put in the password, and there it is. Sign and send to the network, and in about eight seconds, which is the Harmony block time, we should have a successful transaction. And there it is, successful withdrawal. Those tokens are now mine, and of course, you can then re-delegate them to whoever you want to and continue the process of compounding. So let's look at the, the delegations that I currently have. So here, I'm looking at Lucas. I have now the option to undelegate from Lucas. So if I decide to undelegate, I can say how many of my tokens that I'm currently delegating to him I want to undelegate. I'm not actually going to do this because I actually want to continue delegating to this particular validator. But the process would be the same. You put in the number of tokens, click Next, sign a transaction, and then you would undelegate. And as we looked at earlier, that process would take seven epochs, around 10 and a half days. So that's it. The, the key thing is just to get to know your validators, have a proper look through the list and see which ones will give you the best return, and just keep playing around with it. But just bear in mind that once you delegate, undelegating carries a significant time penalty. So make sure you actually know who you're going to delegate to and be really confident about that decision. But hopefully that helps give you some insight into how to use the dashboard. There are plenty of other videos on our YouTube channel to explain the different concepts within the dashboard and really give you an insight into how best to play this particular game. But have fun, delegate away, and uh, keep claiming those rewards. Delegate, collect, repeat.